All right, this is part two. I'll talk for a good 10 minutes here. 10, 12 minutes, and I'll end the video here. Because yeah, it's, it's getting late, and I'm going to get my beer and my smokes at the store. Go to the store, trip my ass off as usual, obviously. I trip about everything. And what? But God gave me these keys. These keys are not going. I can't get away from this. These keys are not going anywhere, obviously. I mean, why do you hate your keys so much? Like, we all we all would die to love to get your keys. We can make our easy ones, yes. But trust me, if you guys are in my shoes, you would see what I mean. Having the keys is a burden because everyone can read your mind. You see what I'm saying? You know, I go downtown. Imagine me going downtown. Everyone downtown can read my mind. It takes getting used to you. You have anxiety. Yeah, you trip about everything. And yeah. But at the same time, I can make my easy billions, obviously. That's why I see it. I'm happy I have the keys, but at the same time, I hate the keys. You know, it's, 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 like a, it's like a switch. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I love it. I love it in the sense that I can make my easy money. And I hate it in the sense that everyone can read my mind. And, and, and I have trips and anxiety and all that stuff. Yeah, VJ can read my mind. It's very annoying. You see what I'm saying? I told you, I had no fucking choice. I had to come. I had no choice, man. I had to come over with the keys because it's set. the gatekeepers locked all the doors on me. So it's their It's the gatekeeper's fault, obviously. Had they not locked the doors on me, I never would have came here with these stupid keys. If they chose to lock the doors on me. Had I known the gatekeepers wouldn't lock the doors on me, I never would have came here with the keys, man. And I would have been much more happy not knowing anyone ever would read my mind, obviously. But if I didn't have the keys, I'd be even more miserable. Yeah, I know it grew my mind, but I'd be more miserable because me and Vijay would be sharing with the world forever. And I'd get a garbage wife, and, I, and the gatekeepers would be taking all my billions. So all the money that I'm making off my box office, my movie, my merch, the gatekeepers would be taking all that pie and giving me and Vijay a small piece of the pie. Like a $20 million salary and $300 million of the royalties. Yes. And that's why God gave me the keys. That way the gatekeepers can, can't control my money, obviously. I have, I need to give you the keys. That way you can have your financial control and you can control your own money. You want to control your money, you have to open your own door. Otherwise, you, you, you have to, if you don't, you have to sell it to the gatekeepers, obviously. That's why God gave me the keys, the stupid keys, obviously. I don't have to sell it to the gatekeepers. And I know I had the keys. The gatekeepers would be taking all my billions, man. All my hundreds of billions that I'm making for my movies, the gatekeepers would be taking all that money and giving me and BJ a small, tiny piece of it. They might even offer, I even, we're going to make you a star in the hall. We'll give you $20 million salary and $300 million worth of royalties for the movie. Even then, that's nothing around how much money I would make if I start Sky Source. You see what I'm saying? It's pocket change. As I'm not going to do my... Before I thought I'd only make a couple billion dollars, but no, I've been, I've been making tens of billions from all my movies, man. Like 70 billion, 50 billion bucks, something crazy, yeah. That's why everyone in my life treat me like shit, because they're envious, obviously. They're envious of my wealth, my keys, my wife, my nature. I can live forever. I'm healthy, whereas you guys are not healthy. You're all garbage. Whereas I'm fresh and healthy, and you guys are all what? You guys are all garbage, obviously. That's why everyone hates on me all the time. They hate on me because they're envious, obviously, of my nature, my beauty, my wealth, my wife, me and me's relationship. You know what I'm saying? My, my nature, I can live forever. I'm healthy. I have a fresh, fresh sky penis. You know what I'm saying, whereas you guys have your penis is, is, is earth penis, which expires and gets dirty and infected, obviously. Whereas my, my, my penis never gets dirty. It's fresh all the time. Because I'm from the sky. I, I, I have a god gene, obviously. Yeah, but going back to the, the Sharks, do not let John Favreau and Dave Filoni dupe you, man. My deal for John Favreau is like, I, he gets 0.2% for Zanius if the movie does $176 billion or less in sales, which is 1.1 million people or, or, or less buy it. He gets the 0 0.2. He'll make his $100 million. If more people buy it, I'll, I'll reduce it to 0 0.1. He'll still make his $70, $80 million, $90, even $100 million. If 1.5 people buy it, John Favreau will make his, if I give him 0 0.1, he'll make his $100 million. Whereas if you give him 0.2 and 1.5 people will buy it, John Favreau will make like 150, 160 million dollars. And you now you put you're pushing it. You're being far too generous with John. As CEOs in Hollywood will never make that kind of money, man. Like the moment you John walks away the 140 million dollars, you're being way too generous. Keep him around that 100, 108, 105, 90, 85, 80, 70, 60 million dollar range for the for the royalties. Around there. John Farrell will probably make around seventy million on average for all my other movies after Zanus. For Zanus, will most likely make his one hundred million in royalties. With all my movies after Zanus, John Farrell will most likely make maybe seventy million bucks around there in royalties. It's a nice contract, obviously. For all his movies, he's making his one hundred plus million dollars. John Farrell. And it's all of my movies after Zanus, John Farrell will walk away with sixty plus, sixty-three plus million dollars in his bank for every movie project. Yeah, John Favreau signed like a four hundred fifty million, sixty million dollar deal for my five movies around there. He's gonna make like four hundred sixty million dollars during my five movies over the during the twenty years. 
he's going to be rich. By the time the five movies are done, if he's chosen, he'll be worth like his $400 million, John Favreau, around there, right? $400 million around there, he'll be worth. He'll be loaded. By the time he retires, he'll be worth like $400 million. He'll be bigger than all these Hollywood celebrities. Yeah, he's making more money than all these Hollywood celebrities. Yeah, man. He's making more money than all the Hollywood celebrities. Yeah, for the hit of that one, I'm going to do the same thing for Will Smith and, and, and Dwayne Johnson. Whoever I choose, right? If when, Something tells me Will Smith will get angry because Will Smith's a greedy shark. The fact that he said in that interview, yeah, I'm the one making all the money in, in that. In, um, Bright. Yeah, that was the movie he did, Bright. Remember the movie Bright when he was a cop? Yeah, the Netflix movie. That was a good movie. I remember I saw the interviews. Yeah, I'm the one making all the money because you know, they probably paid Will his next nice, like, $20 million for, for the movie, right? For that, for what I'm saying, yeah, I guarantee you Will Smith will get angry. You know what I'm saying? He's a, I'm like, yeah, okay, well, I'll pay, I'll pay you your sixty, your sixty four million salary with your bonuses, whatever it is, and I'll give you zero point three percent of the profits if the movie does one ten billion or less. If the movie does more, you get zero point two. Will's like, Ivan, what the fuck? Why is it such a big deal to you? The more money you make, the more money I should make. I'm like, Will, if you think I'm gonna let you walk away with one fifty million dollars of my money and two hundred million dollars of my money, you're fucking crazy. As there's nothing worse than, I don't know, the movie does one, like, I don't know, $50 billion in sales. You give Will Smith 0 0.3, he's walking away with, like, one seven million million. You're being way too generous. That's far too much money. He's not worth that, man. Will's worth that $100 million, 108 90 80 but he's not worth taking $150, $200 of your money, man. At the end of the day, I'm the main show. Me, he's just the main show. He built, he'll build Buzz off. He's a big actor, but I'm ultimately the main, main show. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee even Peter Jackson will tell me, oh, I mean, like, uh, don't let these actors take advantage of you. Peter Jackson might tell me, oh, I mean, like, I, 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 I know you're generous. I'm saying you're very generous. You're gaining pizza rolls, but you're being way too generous with, with some of your actors, man. Don't let them take advantage of you, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they're, even though they're Hollywood actors and they build buzz, you're, it's your money. You're the main show. It's all about you and VJ. Yeah, it's all about me and VJ. Hence why you do not like Will Smith Doopy, man. But he might, he, his agent might get angry. I'm like, Will, if you don't like my offer, you're more than welcome to work in Hollywood and make less money, be a dirty slave, and all my offer. Ivan, it's a deal, yes. As even if I give you 0.2. And the movie does out on a 120, 130 million Will Smith will still make his like $85 million in royalties, $90 million in royalties. And if, if and the movie does 150 billion, 150 billion or something like that, Will Smith will make like his $100 million in royalties. If I give him 0 0.2. If it does like 120 billion, 130 billion, he'll still make his $90 million. He'll still walk away with a $75 million check his bank after taxes and his agent. That's more money than what he makes in Hollywood. It's a, almost $100 million richer. I gave him a good deal. I have an deal. Yeah. Same goes for Dwayne Johnson. If he gets angry and alive and like, why is it such a big deal to him? Like, Dwayne, if you think I'm going to let you walk away with $150 million, $200 of my money, you're crazy. My deal is you get 0.3% if the movie does less, this amount or less. If it does more, you get 0. Point, I lower it to 0 0.2. That way you don't dupe it. And you're still going to make your 80, 90, 80 plus million dollars in royalties with Dwayne. It's more money than what you make in Hollywood, excluding your, I don't know, your 55 million salary with your bonuses. That's a good fucking paycheck. Because Wayne Johnson, I won't pay him as much as Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is bigger. I'll pay him 26 salary and 20 million bonus, Wayne Johnson. And I'll give him like a 8 million post-filming bonus and a 1.5 million for the, for the merch. And I'll give him 0.3% of the profits. If the movie does this amount or less, if the movie does more, I give him I lower it to 0.2. He'll still make his 70 million, 80 million royalties. Dwayne Johnson will make his 70, I don't know, 70, 75 million dollars over taxes as agent, 80 million dollars over bank over taxes as agent. Depends how much money he, the movie does, obviously. That's my deal for the actors, the bigger ace actors. So most of the ace, the bigger ace actors are gonna get 0 0.1 or 0.07%. Because the ones who are worth 70 to 199, you get you give all those guys 0.1% of the prophecy. Only ones who will get the 0.2% are the bigger ones. The ones who are worth the 200 plus million. Those are the ones who are the one who are worth 200, 250, 280. Those guys you give 0 0.2. And the really, really big ones, the rarity, the guys who are worth 300 million plus, you give those guys 0 0.3. Obviously. Those are the, the, the only ones who get 0 0.3 are the rare ones. The ones who are worth 300 plus million. Those are the ones who you give 0 0.3%. Get it? 300 million, 0 0.3, you know what I'm saying? And the ones who are worth 200, 250, 280 million, you give those guys 0 0.2. You know all the other all the other lower ones, the ones who are worth seventy million to like one ninety nine million. Those guys you give them zero point one, or zero point zero seven percent. And the big big ones you give zero point three or zero point two percent. And the the, 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 the you know what I'm saying and the, and the, the lesser bigger ones you give them zero point two or zero point one percent. You lower it to zero point one. The ones who are worth two hundred two million dollars, if they if the movie does more, you lower it to zero point one percent. 
though you keep them around that sixty million dollar range. That way they don't rip you off. You got. I'm gonna tell my account. Look, I want to keep all the actors around that thirty eight million, forty million range to one hundred ten million range for the royalties. That way they don't rip me off. You see what I'm saying? Or keep them around. The ones who are worth seventy to one to one nine nine. Those guys you keep around that forty to fifty five million range. For the royalties, 60 million range for 55 million for the royalties, those guys. And the ones who are worth 200, the ones who are worth 200, 252, 80 million, you keep those guys around that 55 to like 70 million dollar range. 80, 91, uh, some, in some cases, 100 million dollar range, because 0.2 is a lot of money. You keep them around that on average 55 to like 75, 80 million dollar range, those guys. And the really big ones, you keep them around that 70. To like 110 million dollar range. You see what I'm saying? That's the range for the royalties. Do not let the guys go over 110 men. Otherwise, they're going to they're now ripping you off and you're being way too generous. You have to be careful. Do not let these animals do business. The last thing you want to do is, is give Will Smith 0.3 and then all of a sudden the movie does like 150 billion dollars in sales and he walks away with like 200 million dollars in royalties, man. Like, no, you're being he's not worth that, man. Will Smith is not worth two hundred million dollars for for royalties. He's worth a hundred million in that sense, but he's not worth two hundred million. That's no offense. Even though I'm like, look, man, Hollywood may be crazy enough to pay Keanu Reeves two fifty million dollars. He's not. Keanu Reeves wasn't even worth two fifty million dollars for the Matrix. The Warner Bros. was just stupid enough to pay him that money. Don't hate me, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is not worth two fifty million dollars for a movie. They they overpaid him. It's way too much money, man. They they they, they overpaid him for fucking the Matrix, man. They could have used that money to pay fucking carry on Moss for a nice rich salary. For a nice $10 million salary. And they, they gave Keanu Reeves all that cheddar, man. They overpaid him, obviously. They, they overpaid him all that money. If I got that kind of money, if, 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 if a studio offered me $250 million and I was Keanu Reeves, I would have given like carry on Moss a nice $10 million salary of my money. Okay, give carry on Moss $10 million of my money. Give her a pay her a nice salary, obviously. They overpaid Keanu Reeves. They over Keanu Reeves is worth a good $100 million, maybe. 150, 140 million dollars. He's worth that for Matrix, but not 250 million dollars. They overpaid him, man. And that's how Keanu Reeves struck it rich. That's why he's worth like 300, almost 400 million dollars now because he made all that moolah off the Matrix. As all those other movies after Matrix, Keanu Reeves probably made his 15, 12, 20 million dollars after that. But with Matrix, he struck it rich, man. He made his 250 million dollars and they overpaid him. Look, man, Hollywood may be stupid enough to overpay you guys. I'm not going to be stupid enough and, over and overpay all you guys. And have you walk away with 200 miles of my money. You're crazy. Keep all the actors around that 40, 38 to like 38, 40 to like 108, 10 million dollar range. Only the big, big ones are the ones who are going to get that like nice moolah. The 70, the 70, 60, 80, 90, 100 million dollars. Was the smaller, bigger A's get are going to get their 40 to 55 million, 60 million range in royalties. That way they don't rip you off. Because you have to be careful. Do not let these animals rip you off. You see what I'm saying, right? You have to be careful. You have to be careful. You have to be careful, obviously. Talk for a good minute and a half, and I'll end this video. This is a good, what, like 48 million, 48 minute video? Yeah, hence why my scars is coming with blow out of the water. You guys already know what I'm talking about. You see the future, and hence why what? You're looking at like a beautiful property, like Gran Turismo. Something beautiful, yeah, beautiful property like Gran Turismo, you know what I'm saying, that picture I showed you in my last video, yeah. And I'm going to pay the actors more money than even what Hollywood pays them on average. That's why my company will blow out of the water. Ad shoots, professional ad shoots, better than, no, better than even what you get in Hollywood. As I'm renting the best photography studio, studio equipment in Vancouver, obviously. Top high-end studio with fans, all that stuff. I am hiring the best photographers in the business. To take pictures. The people, the, the photographers who took pictures for the for the models, the magazine companies, I'm hiring them three of those photographers to take my pictures, obviously. And I'm renting the best cameras, like two, three thousand dollar, four thousand dollar cameras for the pictures. You're looking at unheard of ad shoots, unheard of posters, unheard of 4K Blu ray case covers for my movie. Yeah, man. These actors are going to be famous movie stars. My company will blow high the water. Yeah, man. Anyways, that's it for this video. I ran out of time where I have to take my shower and get my beer in my supposed to trip my ass off. It's Ivan Amir. I'm signing out. I'll make a video most likely in the morning. Around maybe, I don't know, 4 in the morning. I'll make another video. This is Ivan Amir. I'm signing out. Peace.